So what's up guys? You know why you're here. You want to see this 8K Samsung 800T TV unboxed. And I want to unbox it myself. But before I get to it, I got a lot of comments about I'm leaving your channel. I'm unsubscribing from your channel because I switched TVs. Guys, this is the Raf Cave channel. This is basically a vlog of what I get down here. I'm not getting sent these big ticket items. I'm, I buy these stuff with my hard earned money. And maybe I return a thing or, or two here and there, but I want to have the best things possible. I want to get the stuff that I'm happy with. Great, I was happy with the, the LG OLED. It's an awesome TV, nothing wrong with it. I just wanted the bigger size. And I've never owned a QLED before. I've never even bought a Samsung TV before. I'm excited. I'm an electronics guy. I'm a fan of electronics and home theater. Why wouldn't I want to own a different part of technology to get my own vision, my own take on the technology in my home? not in a store where I can see them in a, a well-lit room that's not ideal. Guys, I'm doing these for you, you know? I want you guys to have a, a good impression of the electronics that I get and a, and a good idea and a way to go of what you want to do, right? That's all I'm doing, guys. If I look up this TV and it sucks, well, guess what? It's not going to be here very much longer, and you guys will either be right or you guys will know that this is a pretty damn good TV. So I think it's going to be awesome, guys. So if you're still here, awesome. I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Welcome to the club. I'm just here in my Raf cave. That's it. So, hey, let's get it, guys. I'm Raf. Welcome to the channel. Home theater, inspirations, live streams, unboxings of what I get down here, reactions. I'm just a cool guy doing some cool stuff with cool stuff, right? So, hey, it's all good, guys. Anyway, this TV is kick-ass, guys. All the reviews that I've seen so far online... Have been amazing they rated this thing has been top tier technology of 8k regardless if it's 8k or 4k this is an absolutely fantastic panel and the processing and all the things they've done this year from last year this is the second generation 8k tv so they've fixed the issues they had last year with this one it's gonna be awesome guys so i'm excited to get this unboxed i'm excited to look at it and compare the lg cx which i had before i'm fresh in my mind i know exactly what it looks like everything every game i play i know exactly what it looks like now I get to finally compare it with a QLED in the raft cave in a darkened room, right? I know QLEDs are meant for bright rooms, bright HDR, but I don't need that super bright HDR. I can tone it down and make it look fantastic. Black levels are going to be great. Now, guys, I've had a Vizio TV. This is a Vizio M65. I think it looks great. You think this has as many zones as this? You think I don't see blooming? Am I upset about it? No, it's a great looking TV. This Samsung 8K is going to blow this out of the water. You know what I mean? Blacks are not the end-all be-all it is great but because you get deep blacks doesn't mean the whole picture is going to be you know perfect so anyway guys i'm not i'm not going to go on a rant this tv is going to be cool i can't wait to look at it i'm going to tell you guys a good buying decision if it's worth keeping or getting back the other one so we'll see without further ado guys let's get this unboxed Here it is guys, 8K TV. My first 8K TV in the raft cave. This is crazy. 8K TV. Well guys, whenever you get your 8K TV, it's gonna be an experience for you guys too. I can't wait to get this unboxed, set it up and look at it. 8K in a home, not in a store, in a home to really see how good it can look. Can't wait. All right guys, this is the Q800T. Now this is this, this is the, this, there's three different AKs this year, 800T, 900T, 950TS. Now the difference between this and the other ones is the 950, 950TS, uh, they'll have a much thinner bezel. They, they have the infinity screen, very thin. They also have much uh, higher peak brightness. I think it goes up to 3,000 3, nits versus this one at 2,000. So for one, I don't need the higher nits because I'm in the basement, it's dark down here, it's barely any light. So that's not an issue. As far as thickness goes, I'm not putting it on the wall. I'm putting it on a stand. Don't need it to be thin. And I don't need that one connect box from the 950TX or TS because I'm not going to wall mount it. Don't need that thin cable going up the wall. So, you know what I mean? This is pretty, pretty well suited for my area. Uh, whew, man, I've never had a Samsung before, guys. So I'm, I'm really excited to get this unboxed, plugged in, and check out the, the different you know features of it. It's going to be great. All right, guys, you ready for this? 
I don't have the black pen. I got these wire cutters here, so yeah. What what is we'll keep black pen in our thoughts. All right, here we go, guys. First strap down. Second strap down. Wow. Well, I guess we just lift it up. Then you, on the top here, you got some instructions here. Now it says we gotta lift this top flap open first. So maybe I will get the black pin. Black pin. Yes. All right, guys, had to uh, stop the video because my camera spun around. So what do you get inside is this little back plate here. This has the screws in the bottom. And then you get the warranty booklet here with your remote and power cable with AA batteries. On top, you have the quick start setup guide. So definitely have to follow through with. I'll show you to you in a little bit here. Uh, this was the top, the top styrofoam, styrofoam, the two side styrofoams. And then this beast right here, this is the stand. Holy moly, how does this look? How does this work? Interesting, okay. So basically you have plenty of space in here for a sound bar. Look at that, plenty of space for a sound bar. This thing is a beast too, man, oh my God, heavy. All right, so that goes there. And, and that's it guys. Oh. I love how they have this uh, plastic film on the front so you won't get any fingerprints on the screen. So you can just, if you happen to touch the screen on the sides, no problem. At the end, Peel it off. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna lift it out of the box here by myself, I might add. So apparently you need two people. You reach in the, on each side and there's a nice little grip on the bottom, on the back here for your hands. I don't have that luxury, so I'm gonna grab one side. All right, AK. Be nice. All right, one, two, up. Laying on, on the table there. It's looking very nice. It's got these grooves on here. I'm not sure what these grooves are for, but power cord goes there. It's got a standard large size outlet for the power cord. Nice brushed aluminum here. Very cool. Four screw holes here for your mole mount. Large configuration there. This is where the uh, table mount goes. And the bottom here is going to be your navigation wheel for power and menu and stuff now this is going to be the there we go there see made in mexico and look at the manufacturing date march last month this was uh, built how cool is that it's only less than a month old it's amazing uh, inputs guys, we got uh, USB, USB, optical, and your four HDMI. Interesting how that one has the game. That's going to be your full 2.1 input. The 8K, 60 hertz, 4K, 120, then the rest of the 2.0, I think. So I'll be using this one here, the eARC. You got your LAN, link, antenna, of course, for local channels. And that's it guys. All right, so we got the back plate here. We got the table plate. And then this nice instruction guide here. So on the front, kind of cool, I laid it out. 82 inch, 75 inch, 65 inch. Those are the instructions there. Except it was just me. I have no second person here. Uh, comes with those items in the box. And then on the back, 
this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna put that uh, plastic plate on the back, four screws, and then we'll, yeah, wait, that's it. That's a 72 or 7582. And then the next step is, yeah. so basically you set it on the floor, click it in the bottom there, and then put the screws in. And then you basically lift it in one whole piece and boom. All right, let's get it started, guys. Okay, so this, I guess, just slaps in here in the grooves. Or wait. Uh, like this. Yeah, this way. Oh, lay it flat, and then it clicks in. Okay. Looks like the screws are the same size. Okay. Four screws, drop it in the hole there. Boom. Boom. And boom. All right, that's in there. All right, so for now, Gonna lift the TV off the table and put it right on top of the table stand here. See you have the three holes here? That's where these go. One, two, three, sit right in here and they hook in. Then you have the four screws there and then that's it. All right, here we go guys. 8K TV going on the stand. Okay, pinching the fingers a little bit. Okay, whoo, we got it. Oh boy, we got it. Okay, all right. Thank goodness, thank you Samsung for leaving this plastic film right here that I can peel off and it's perfect, that's wonderful. Pinch my fingers a little bit, but it's all worth it to not do anything wrong to this bad boy right here. All right, let's get the four screws in here and then that's it, one whole piece and we can lift it up and go from there. That's pretty much it. Put the screws on there, and you can run your wires right inside here. Like power cord goes there, HDMI cables and all that good stuff goes under there. Sweet. All right, guys, time to lift this bad boy up and put it on the t on the table. Wish me luck. Let's go. Oh, well, there she is, guys. 65 inch 8K QLED. So here's the stand in the back. It's got some wire maintenance. That's what these grooves are for, is for the wires. And with me having this thick AudioQuest cinnamon cable and uh, coax cable and ethernet patch cord, it's not gonna really fit very well in these grooves. So I did the best I could. And I fit the most I could back here. And then for the power cord, I'm using the Monster uh, Powerline 200. And that's definitely not gonna fit in the groove. So I just did a zip tie there. So that's hooked up. All right, so right now I'm just gonna use the uh, EARC hookup from my Denon receiver, which is uh, right there. And then Ethernet and coax, of course. Man, it's a good looking TV in the back. Let's head over to the front. Woo! Hello, reflection. That's just because of the, of this right here, which I will definitely do right now for you guys it's looking nice guys looking nice now the stand has definitely got a gap here so for you sound bar owners it's gonna be perfect to slide right underneath there it's got a lot of surface here so I'm gonna put a bunch of little knickknacks in there one of these days so right now there's my stream webcam all right guys let's back up and uh, get that peeled all right so first thing get this energy tag sticker off All right, so that's off there. And then probably this uh, little sticky here. 
for the control panel, and then for the main event. I'm gonna brace this mount here. Peel this guy, here we go. Ooh, there you are, holy cow. All right guys, so the unboxing process is complete. Out of the box, mount on, TV on my desk here, and it's looking incredible. The size of a 65 inch from the 55 inch, man, it's pretty epic. So I'm gonna sit back a little bit so I'll get the full immersion of a 65 inch here. It's gonna look awesome. I'm super excited to get this fired up. That'll be on the next part. This is strictly an unboxing video only. So if you want to stay tuned, hit that like button and let's move on to the first time startup process. I'm excited guys. I, my immediate impression of this TV is going to go, that's it. I mean, that's it. My first impression from an OLED to this, if I'm not blown away, AK and all or, or not, I, I cannot have that doubt in my head. So wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Whew, let's go. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, subscribe, share. Home theater rules as always. Hopefully, Samsung Q800T rules. And AK in the Raft Cave lives on. Let's go.